gonna go over uh, to the 2008 released FRQ number two. This is a table problem in which calculators are allowed. So we're gonna go ahead and work this out. So it says concert tickets went on sale at noon at T equals two and were sold out within nine hours. So the table up here represents how many hours. The number of people waiting in line to purchase the tickets is modeled by a twice differentiable function L for zero to nine. The values of L of T at various times are shown in the table. So at zero hours, it shows that there's 120 people waiting in line. In one hour, there's 156 and so on. So use the data in the table to estimate at the rate at which the number of people waiting in line was changing at 530 or t equals 5.5 show the computations and indicate the units of measure okay so for part a it wants us basically to find l prime of 5.5 but because we're not given a function we're going to have to approximate so if you notice we're given uh, 7 and 4 and 5.5 is in between so we're going to use our average rate of change formula so it's going to be L of 7 minus L of 4 divided by 7 minus 4 and that gives us 150 minus 126 over 3 and that's going to be 8 people per hour Alright, part B, use the trapezoidal sum with three sub-intervals to estimate the average number of people waiting in line during the first four hours. Okay, so if I want to use a trapezoidal sum to find the average value, we can think of it like this. So our average value formula is 1 over B minus A times the integral from A to B of L of T DT and in this case our A is going to be 0 and our B is going to be 4 so it becomes the integral or 1 fourth times the integral from 0 to 4 L of T DT and when we're using our trapezoid sum we want to make it into four intervals so we're going from 0 to 4 so it's going to go from here to here so our first interval is going to be 0 to 1. Our second interval is going to be 1 to 3. The next one is going to be 3 to 4. Three subintervals, not four. Three subintervals. So then the formula for a trapezoid is 1 half H B1 plus B2. So it's going to be 1 fourth times 1 half. 120 plus 156 plus one half times two times 156 plus 176 plus one half times one times 176 plus 126 and these numbers the two and the one come from subtracting the t values so 1 minus 0 is 1 3 minus 1 is 2 and 4 minus 3 is 1 so then you put that all in your handy dandy calculator and you get 155.25 people and then does it say to round you would have been okay if you rounded this to 155 or 156 people. All right, part C says for 0 to 9, what is the fewest number of times at which L prime of t must equal 0 give a reason. So when I see this must equal 0, my brain should think IVT or MVT. Okay, so we're going to talk about kind of uh, how to get that. So first let's talk about how we know when L prime of T is greater than zero. This is when L of T is increasing. And we know L prime of T is less than zero 
that means L of T is decreasing. So I'm going to highlight increasing in light blue and highlight decreasing in purple. So if I go up to my chart between 0 and 9, I know that I'm going to be increasing from 0 to 176 because it's going up. Then I start decreasing from 176 to 126. And then it starts increasing again from 126 to 150, and then 150 to zero. It could increase and decrease uh, more in there, but I don't know. This is what I know for sure. So I know that it's increasing from zero to three and four to seven. And I know that it's decreasing from three to four and seven to eight. So if the function goes from increasing to decreasing, then the derivative is zero, or if it goes from decreasing to increasing, the derivative is zero. Okay, so since the derivative is continuous, or since L of t is continuous, and it goes from positive to negative and negative to positive, at t equals three, four, and seven, then by the intermediate value theorem, the derivative has to equal zero at least three times. The rate at which tickets were sold from zero to nine is modeled by this. So this is the rate at which they were sold. Based on the model, how many tickets were sold by 3 p.m. or t equals three to the nearest whole number? So again, R of t is 550 t e to the negative t over two. And this is tickets per hour. So if I want to know how much of something, I'm just going to integrate. So I integrate this from 0 to 3. Put that in your handy dandy calculator and you get 972.784 tickets, which is approximately 972 or 973 tickets.